please mind what this redness is here. I don't know what it is, it's just there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be testing out the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I am excited. I am excited. So I know this isn't like a new, brand new foundation. It is kind of newish. It came out like late last year, I believe. And I've seen some people talking about this, including Sinem. I love Sinem. Like, she's so beautiful. I saw her talking about this foundation and I was like, do I need it? Do I need it? And I thought, you know what, I do need it. Let's let's get it. So I saw it on the Boots website and at the time it was on like offer on Boots. I think I think it was a bit of a discount. So I thought, you know what, let's just get it while it's on discount. So I did. So I purchased this foundation and I really shouldn't have done. But here we are. We have the foundation. Um it is a beautiful it looks beautiful. It looks exactly like their concealer like it looks like a big version of their concealer let me show you they're like multi-use sculpting concealer and it looks like the same kind of packaging if that kind of makes sense very similar yeah so i already have the original and i really like the original like it's a bit of a darker shade for me i should have got a little bit of a lighter shade however i can still make it work it's still fine um so the claims of this foundation that it is like a medium to full coverage i would i would agree with that i would say medium to full coverage it's also oil free um this one the first one the what does it say as the description it's an oil free formula which features moisture restoring coconut oil brightening brightening alpine rose and hydrating hyaluronic acid nourishing skin as it creates a seamless finish so i think it's meant to be more like a natural looking foundation this one um i would say that i do actually like this foundation i don't use it like as often as what i should but i still really like it so yeah i picked up the matte one because i did i do actually like the original one um but i'm more of a matte girl like i love matte coverage foundation so this is a soup this is the this is a 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. Let me see what it says for this one. By the way guys, these both retail for £29. Again, keep checking boots, keep checking cult beauty. Sometimes they do go on offer or you can find like a discount code or something. So the claims of this one is, it's a 24 hour long wear foundation. Um, it's an oil free formula with a natural coverage that obscures the look of imperfection and controls oil controls oil for a matte finish that lasts all day. Um what else does it say? It's waterproof, trans transist transfer resistant oil controlling oil free. I think that's basically yeah. So this one I think it still has the ingredients it still has um coconut water which helps to risk replenish skin's moisture levels it has alpine rose which brightens and promotes elasticity and hyaluronic acid provides long lasting hydration for a more youthful appearance so yeah basically it's kind of just like a more matte finish than this one um so i'm not too sure if this one i don't think this one would be waterproof and transfer resistant i think maybe because this one has like the matte properties in it it will do that um but yeah this one is all also oil free might not be like oil controlling because again it's not a matte foundation so yeah i picked up the matte version i'm a big matte foundation lover so yeah we're gonna test we're gonna test this out i did get this in a different shade um the first, this one i have in the shade snow which is a little bit dark i can still get away with it but this one I picked up in the shade Swan. Now I have the concealer in the shade Swan and they kind of look different. Like Swan looks a bit lighter in the concealer, but we're gonna give it a go. This is a bit of a lighter shade than Snow though. So I'm hoping that maybe this just like, I don't know. I'm hoping it does something. So yeah, my ideas, I'm gonna quickly prime. I'm just taking my Excess Revolution Cloud Complexion Primer. Mine is nearly all gone. Look at that. It's it's basically on its last legs to be honest with you um which is a shame i love this primer i'll probably purchase another one 
Um, as you can see, my skin, it's okay. It's not in the best condition at the minute. Um, everywhere is other than this area here. So I'm hoping that we can maybe, the foundation will maybe cover that up. Again, I'm not too sure if it's like, I'm guessing it's maybe like a medium to full coverage foundation. It doesn't exactly say, but I'm guessing it is because it's like a similar one to their original and their original is like a medium to full coverage. So I'm going to say this is medium to full coverage, but I could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So we're going to go in with the foundation. Um, this has like a pump on it. I don't know why, because it, I think it's because it looks like the concealer, like packaging and everything. I thought it was going to have like a big wand. Um, I don't know why. It's just me. So I'm just going to take a couple of pumps. We'll start off with, we'll start off with three. Three is a good amount. We'll see, hopefully this is like a, um, it's a little bit yellow for me maybe, but. I should have maybe gone for a cloud or something maybe but cloud in the concealer is very pale for me like it's a more of a concealer kind of shade so I don't know it's definitely more of like a yellow kind of undertone for me but let's just see Okay, so I definitely think three pumps is enough for me personally. I mean, I usually do use about three, four, sometimes depending on the foundation. Um, hmm. I actually like this foundation. I like the original. I like this one as well. I like this one as well, yeah. I would say that it does have good coverage to it. Has it covered my spot area? I mean, it's not as like invisible as what I'd want it to be. Or as like covered. I'm just gonna take a little bit more, like just a da like a like a little like see, like the tiniest amount. Not even like a full pump. That was like half a pump. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my blemish. Yeah, I would definitely say this is like a medium to full coverage. Um, right, let me zoom you guys in so you can see how it's looking. So yeah, as you can see, my blemish is still a bit of like redness peeping through. So it's like not fully covered, but the rest of my face looks good. It looks really good. Really nice, really nice coverage. It's covered everything that I needed to cover other than this blemish. Again, I don't really want to put too much on there. I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply the concealer. Um, I'll do this on camera. This is the, obviously the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. Mine is in the shade Swan. Um, it looks a bit lighter than the foundation, which is a bit weird, but it might apply differently. Um, put a bit, of, a bit on that blemish. I love this concealer. I think it is like one of my favorite concealers. Uh, I do have it in two shades. I have it in Swan, and then I have it also in Cloud. Um, I like Cloud when I'm looking when I'm going for something that's a bit more like I want it to really brighten my under eyes. Um, not that this one doesn't, but this one is like for more of like my everyday. I just want something that's similar to my foundation shade. It's not going to brighten too much, but still going to give me coverage. Um. That's what I kind of like to use it for. It's like honey, what bags? I feel like it's slightly lighter, but again, it might like oxidize. I'm not too sure. I don't think it oxidizes usually, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's weird. It's like, it's almost like slightly lighter than the foundation, maybe like just a tint, like a teeny bit. Like, as you can see from the bottle, like, this one, I don't, I'm not too sure whether they're just slightly different or, I, I don't know, I don't actually know. I would have thought they would have been like the same kind of shade, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so the, front, the concealer apply is nice on top of it, like I wouldn't, I would expect it to anyway. Um, but yeah, 
really really like it really like it really nice so i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna do like my powder the rest of my base whatnot oh and then i'm gonna go and then i'll come back can I guys kind of show you guys like how the skin is looking how things are applied on top and i'll kind of give you guys my final thoughts so yeah i'll be right back i am back this is the finished look i'm really sorry if you can hear drilling outside it just kind of is what it is like it is what it is people go about their days yeah it's drilling it is what it is the finished foundation look um so far the foundation is fine um everything applied fine on top of it like my powder like my bronzer my blusher my highlighter that kind of thing not a problem um yeah i haven't got anything bad to say to be honest with you it looks really nice looks really good um i'll zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like so yeah that's how my skin's looking again the blemish you can kind of see it but the concealer on top of the foundation definitely helped that um the rest of my makeup looks fine not a problem um I would say there's maybe a little bit yellow for me but foundation is a little bit like more yellow toned on me but it's fine it is what it is i can still make it work because i've kind of like made it work today and my skin looks really good um it feels really nice i usually matte my foundation down anyway so i literally matte it down all over my face with powder so but yeah it is a really nice it's really nice finish i really like it i like how my skin's looking i would say it's a medium to full coverage foundation if i would say if you do have blemishes you might want to apply it a bit more um foundation or maybe just put a little bit more concealer on top because it might not cover the full the full thing um <clears throat> with mine it didn't cover like the redness it covered majority and i would have been fine not even putting concealer on top i wouldn't have been too bothered but um I decided to apply concealer on top and you can barely see it now to be honest with you it's definitely more on the medium to full coverage side it's really nice i like the finish of it it's really it's gorgeous on the skin i haven't got a bad word to say about it to be honest with you i'm gonna have to keep trying it out gonna have to see how it wears kind of like throughout the day um usually i do get a bit of like creasing under here but so far i've got none when i've worn a foundation for a few hours um that's when it starts like crease around my nose or I start to get like creases where my smile lines are. Um, but yeah, obviously I'll have to see how this kind of like wears throughout the day and whatnot. But yeah, so far I'm really liking it. So far really liking it. So yeah, um, do I recommend it? Yeah, I would say if you are looking for a new matte foundation that's medium to full coverage, this would be a good one to get. Can you buy ones from the drugstore that are like way cheaper? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I love the Makeup Revolution Matte Base Foundation. That is like £5 and it is a matte foundation and it is full coverage as well. So I really like that one. That is like hella cheap. But yeah, so far I really do like this. I'm going to have to keep trying it out, keep testing it and whatnot. But so far, this gets a thumbs up from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'll be linking my social media handles above and also in the description box down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!